In this video, I will demonstrate how to enable and utilize the content blocking feature on your Peplink device. To conduct this demo, I will be using Peplink's Balance 20x model. This content blocking feature can benefit multiple industries that want to control the sites and applications that their users have access to. Our highly flexible in control 2 software gives you full control of your router. Now, you have the chance to configure your entire network anytime, anywhere. One of the many advantages of InControl2 is the chance to filter content on both websites and applications. To make the entire experience extremely convenient, Peplink engineers have provided preset categories for your content blocking, meaning that your content blocking needs and specifications can be met with only a couple of clicks. First, I will go over the web blocking feature. To start, you need to open up and log into your web administration page. As you can see, I've already done that over here. Once you've done that, head over to the Advanced tab at the top and click on Content Blocking. Then scroll down to Web Blocking. Here you can see the Preset Category section. These are groups of addresses for specific content blocking, which are categorized by our engineers here at Peplink. Here you can choose the various levels of web blocking, such as High, Moderate, or Low. If required, you can even select the Custom option, which allows you to customize the selected categories for web blocking. Keep in mind that the preset categories differ from model to model. Also, for your convenience, these preset categories are constantly being updated by Peplink engineers. To automatically receive these updates, make sure you tick the box for Content Filtering Database Auto Update. If you feel as though Peplink's preset categories aren't suitable for you, we have also provided you with a section below to manually enter any website that you would like to block. For example, if I would like to block my users from accessing YouTube, then all I have to do is put in www.youtube.com. This way, any user connected to my Peplink device will not be able to visit this site. Let's save and apply these changes to see if they have worked. Okay, clearly I can't open the site, so this means it definitely worked. Now, to add more sites, you can click the plus sign on the right. Just in case there are specific sites that you want access to, but you believe are included in the preset categories, you can input their website addresses into the exempted domains from web blocking section. For example, SoundCloud would normally come under the audio video preset category, but if I would like to still have access to SoundCloud, all I need to do is put in soundcloud.com in this section. So first, let's see if it works without putting it in the exempted domains from web blocking section. So clearly this page isn't loading. Now let's see if it works after I put it in the exempted domains for web blocking section. Great, so now as you can see, I have access to SoundCloud. Also, if you want to block all variations of a website, then you can also include the domain name with an asterisk. This will block any website with a host name having the domain name in the middle. For example, if I were to put youtube.star, this will block all variations of YouTube such as youtube.com, youtube.uk, and so on. Now let's see if I can access any variation of YouTube. Furthermore, you can also control which user groups and networks are exempted from the web blocking settings. This option can also differ between different models. Finally, once you're done with that, you can go ahead and click Save at the bottom and Apply Changes at the top right. Next, I will demonstrate how to use the application-based blocking feature on your Peplink device. For your convenience, we have placed all content blocking features on the same page. So again, to access this page, you need to head to Advanced and then go to Content Blocking. This time, you need to head over to the Application Blocking section and select the application type. Here, you can find an extensive list of different applications which you can block. Peplink is consistently updating this list, providing you with more applications to block. To block more than one application, click the plus sign on the side. The final step is to set up the user groups or subnets to exempt from application blocking protocols that were just set. Simply select the group that you wish to exempt and add the corresponding networks and subnet masks. It is important to note that these exemptions affect both web and application blocking, if both have been enabled.